Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve another very interesting and challenging question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing x cannot be equal to 0 as it is not satisfying our equation. LHS will give us 0, RHS is 1. Now I will take this cube root x to the RHS. So I can write 1 minus cube root x equal to 4x. Now we will divide both sides by 4. So from RHS we will cancel 4 and 4 from numerator and denominator. We will get 1 minus cube root x over 4 equal to x. Now I will use substitution. Let us consider cube root x equal to y minus 1. If x is not equal to 0, then I can say y cannot be equal to 1. Now I will cube both sides. We will get x equal to y minus 1 whole cube. So I can write our equation in y as 1 minus cube root x is y minus 1 over 4 equal to x and x is y minus 1 whole cube. Remember y cannot be 1. Now we have to simplify LHS. I will write 1 minus y plus 1 over 4 equal to y minus 1 whole cube. Now 1 plus 1 is 2. So we will get numerator 2 minus y. Denominator is 4. RHS is y minus 1 whole cube. Now I will switch these two values. So I can write 2 minus y over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 4 as y cannot be 1. Now I will split this 2 as 1 plus 1. Then minus y over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 4. Now we will split numerator with denominator in this fashion. So I will be writing 1 over y minus 1 whole cube plus 1 minus y over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 4. Now we will take minus common from here. So I can write 1 over y minus 1 whole square minus y minus 1 over y minus 1 whole cube equal to 4. Now we can cancel y minus 1 from the numerator. So numerator will be 1 and denominator will have power 2. Let me write. 1 over y minus 1 whole cube minus 1 over y minus 1 whole square equal to 4. Now we have to only consider 1 over y minus 1. Let's say this is equal to m. So our equation will be cubic m cube minus m square equal to 4. Remember 1 over y minus 1 is m. Let's solve this cubic first. m cube minus m square minus 4 equal to 0. Now we will split our middle term minus m square as minus 2m square. Then I need to add m square minus 4 
equal to 0. Now from first two terms m square is common. So in the bracket we will get m minus 2 and m square minus 4 we will write m square minus 2 square equal to 0. Now we know that a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Let's use this identity here. So we will get m square times m minus 2 plus m plus 2 times m minus 2 equal to 0. Now m minus 2, m minus 2 we will take common. So m minus 2 times m square plus m plus 2 equal to 0. From product 0 rule, we can conclude either m minus 2 will be 0 or m square plus m plus 2 equal to 0. So from first equation, I can get m equal to 2. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. I will write here m square plus m plus 2 equal to 0. Now I will check the discriminant value only. d will be equal to b square minus 4 times ac. As per our quadratic equation, a is coefficient of m square 1, b is coefficient of m 1, c is constant 2. Let us put all the values. B square will be 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 2. This will give us 1 minus 8. So discriminant is coming out negative 7. Once discriminant is negative, we will get complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic as we are looking for real solutions. So accepted m would be m equal to 2. Now m was our substitution. So if I will write 1 over y minus 1 was m. So I will write here m equal to 2. 1 over y minus 1. This was equal to m. Or I can write 1 over m equal to y minus 1. So let's calculate 1 over m. This will be equal to 1 over 2. Now we can replace 1 over m with y minus 1. So LHS will be y minus 1. RHS will be half. Add 1 to both sides. We will get y equal to 1 plus half. Value will be 3 over 2. Now y was also our substitution, cube root x was y minus 1. So in place of y, I can write cube root x plus 1. Let us write cube root x plus 1 equal to 3 over 2. Subtract 1 from both sides cube root x will be equal to 3 over 2 minus 1. So we will get half. Now cube root x equal to half. We will consider cubing both sides. So power 3 and this side also power 3. This cube root and cube will be over. We will get our final answer x equal to 1 over 8. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.